Hello friends. Today in this video, I am going to talk about Schrödinger equations. So, first separation of variables. We need to solve the Schrödinger equations. I cross H dou psi by dou t is equal to minus h cross a square by 2m dou a square psi by dou x a square plus v psi. In case v is equal to vx, we can use the separation of variables methods. We can suppose that the solution has the form psi xt is equal to psi x and phi t for time being you just phi t. So function of x and function of t psi x function of x and function of t. Now putting it in the above Schrodinger equation means i cross h dou psi by dou t is equal to minus h cross square by 2m dou psi square by dou x square plus v psi. Then i h cross psi x d phi t dt is equal to minus h cross square by 2m phi t dou square psi x by dx square plus vx psi x and phi t. Then dividing by psi x and phi t. Then this equation become i cross h 1 by phi d phi by dt is equal to minus h cross by 2m 1 by psi dou square psi by dx square plus v psi. Now, left side functions of time and right side function of position, that is important. Left side is a function of time and right side function of position. This is true only if both sides are in fact constant and we will call the separation constant E. So the left side I cross H 1 by phi d phi by dt is equal to e. So d phi by dt is equal to minus i e by h cross phi integration over d psi by d phi by d uh, phi by phi is equal to minus i e divided by h cross phi dt that is the uh, phi t that is is equal to c e minus i e t by h cross then psi x t is equal to psi x e to t minus i e t by h cross and the constant c is absorbed into psi this constant and psi x is a stationary state now the right side minus h cross by 2m 1 by psi d square psi by dx square plus v is equal to e then minus h cross by 2m d psi is, uh, d square psi by dx square plus v psi is equal to v psi and this is the time independent Schrodinger equation ab isme kon kon se parameter hai usko aap dekhe ki e psi jo aapke right mein hai aur left mein hai h cross square by 2m d square psi by dx square plus v psi. Now, the probability density does not depend on time. That is important. Since psi xt squares psi star psi is equal to psi star e plus i e t divided by h cross psi e minus i e t divided by h cross is equal to modulus of psi x square. 
Now the total energy because energy is really important for Schrodinger equation. The time independent Schrodinger equation can be written as SI is equal to SI. What is the meaning of H? Here H is Hamiltonian operator. It represents a total energy in quantum mechanics and E represents a total energy values. What does it mean? Measuring the total energy using H that is Hamiltonian operator and return the energy values E and the operator the system quantum system psi. Now the probability density does not depends on time that is important. So total energy we have already talked this one. Now Hamiltonian is what? Hamiltonian is equal to minus s square by 2m do square by do x square plus the px. Ye portion jo hai h square by 2m do square by 2x ye kinetic energy operator galat. Kinetic energy operator and Vx potential energy operator. So potential energy plus kinetic energy operator become the Hamiltonian. So Hamiltonian carrying the kinetic energy and potential energy at a time. The expectation value of the total energy is H is equal to minus infinity plus infinity psi star A psi dx E psi that is E minus infinity to plus infinity model of x square dx is equal to E that is the one. So H square is equal to minus infinity plus infinity psi star Hamiltonian square E uh, psi dx E square psi is equal to E square minus infinity plus infinity modulus of psi square dx is equal to E square. Then you can see the h root over h square minus h square is equal to root over e2 minus e square minus e square is equal to 0. So every measurement of the total energy is certain to return the value e and I am hundred percent sure that every measurement will give the same value E. Then what does it mean? It means the general solution is a linear combination of separable solutions. A separable solution has the form psi n x t is equal to psi n x e to the power minus half e n t divided by h cross that is the allowed energy that e n is allowed energy. Then the general solution can be written as psi x t is equal to summation over n is equal to 1 to infinity c n psi n x exponential minus i e n t divided by h cross and then this equation become psi x t is equal to summation over n is equal to 1 to infinity c n psi n x t. This is the complex constant. If it is hard for you to understand what a linear combination is, this is what you could imagine. What you have to imagine? This one. You can see this is mixture. Every person's home, I think, nowadays they have the mixture. So why this is important here? If you have the one psi 1, another which is the apple, one psi 2 which is your orange, and two psi 3 you have different component, and you have one psi 4, that one is different, Kiwi, 2 5, uh, psi 5 and 3 5 6 and 1 psi 7. 
so if you are adding all in this mixture then what you are getting you are getting this psi xt and summation over inverse country 1 to 7 cn and psi f what does it mean yes just think about it you have the mixed everything from n is equal to 1 to 7 in this psi and then cn psi that one cn is the constant you know so example suppose a particle start out in a linear combination of two stationary state psi x and 0 is equal to c1 psi1 x plus c2 psi2 x where c1 and c2 are real constants find psi xt and probability density psi xt square the solution psi xt c1 psi1 x e minus i e1 t divided by h cross plus c2 psi2 x e minus i e2 t divided by h cross then psi x1 t square is equal to psi star x1 t dot psi x1 t so if you elaborate this one psi c1 square psi1 square plus c2 square psi2 square 2 c1 c2 psi1 c, uh, c uh, psi2 cos e2 minus e1 t divided by h cross then where cos e2 minus e1 t divided by h cross is equal to e i e2 minus e1 t by h cross exponential minus e e2 minus e1 t by h cross and divided over 2 but wait if what is the physical meaning of cn what is the physical meaning of cn so cn square is the probability that measurement of the energy would yield the value en so n is equal to 1 to infinity cn square is equal to 1 the sum of all probabilities should be 1 then 1 is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity psi star xt psi x0 uh, dx is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity m is equal to 1 to infinity cm psi m cx star summation over n is equal to 1 to infinity cn psi n x dx so summation over m1 is equal to infinity n1 is equal to infinity cm star and cn star integration over minus infinity to plus infinity psi m star x psi n x dx and that is the delta mn if is equal to 1 if m is equal to n and it is equal to 0 if m is not equal to n so that point is important so summation over m is equal to 1 to infinity and n is equal to 1 to infinity cm star cn delta mn and then it become n is equal to 1 to infinity cn square mod over cn square so And as the time independence Schrodinger equation says, bracket of h is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity psi star s psi dx, then minus infinity to plus infinity integral summation over m is equal to 1 to infinity cm psi m x star h summation over n is equal to infinity cn psi n x dx. So, summation, summation over C m star C n E n minus infinity to plus infinity integral psi m star psi n dx is equal to summation over n is equal to infinity to modules of C n square E n. And this is the representation of the conservation of energy principle in quantum mechanics. Now, the Fourier tricks, what Fourier does? the time independent wave functions of the Schrodinger equation could be written as 
psi x0 is equal to summation n over n to infinity c n psi n x. If we multiply both side by psi m star and integrates, then integral psi m star x psi x o dx is equal to summation n to infinity c n integral psi m star x psi n x dx is equal to n summation over infinity c n delta m and c n is equal to integral psi m star x psi x 0 and dx. Now the infinite square y that is important for the quantum chemistry. We will solve the Schrodinger equation in its simplest case considering potential energy along x is equal to 0. So, we will take the potential shape as an infinite square well with two bondages x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a. So, v x is equal to if is equal to 0 if a equal to or greater than x uh, less than x or equal to less than a. Infinity if x less than equal to 0 or x greater than equal to a. This is the two conditions 0 or infinity. So, in this picture you can see 0 a position along x axis 0 to infinity psi x is equal to 0 in the well v is equal to 0 and psi x. In this form of potential the particle is present between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a. However, the reason of x less than 0 and x greater than a contains sometimes like an infinite repulsive force and that prevent the particle from escaping these limits. Now, I hope that this simple drawing will explain figuratively the situation of the particle under this potential. You can see there are two condition bonding x is equal to 0, x is equal to a. a stay here this, this side, no way to go out. So, particle is here, v is equal to 0. So, now we move to the mathematical part. As we said before, it is impossible that the particle exists in the infinite potential regions. So, we will study the particles wave functions only between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to a, where v x is equal to 0. Now, time independent Schrodinger equation minus h cross square by 2m d square psi by dx square is equal to e psi. Multiply minus 2m by h cross square is equal to d square psi by dx square is equal to minus 2m e divided by h cross square psi. Now, d square psi by dx square is equal to minus k square psi, where k is equal to root over 2m e divided by h cross and e greater than or equal to 0. The general solution is psi x is equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx, that is boundary condition constant. Now, boundary condition psi x is continuous at x is equal to 0 and psi 0 is equal to 0. So, psi 0 is equal to b cos 0 is equal to b 0. Psi x is the continuous at x is equal to a and psi a is equal to 0. Then, psi a, a sin k, k is equal to n pi and k n is equal to n pi by a. Then, the psi x a sin n pi x by a also e n is equal to h cross square k square n by 2 m a square is equal to n square h square h cross square by 2 m a square. E n are the allowed energy for the state psi n x. Now, to find a we normalize psi a is equal to 0 to a model, modules of a square sin a square k x dx is equal to modules of a square a by 2 
is equal to 1 here a is equal to root over 2 by a then psi n x is equal to root 2 by a sin n pi x by a now you can see here psi 1 x psi 2 x psi 3 x so psi 1 x root 2 by a sin pi x by a energy pi square h square 2 m square if you have psi 2 x psi 2 x root under root 2 by a sin 2 pi x by a e to 4 pi square h square 2 m square psi 3 x psi 3 x root 2 by a sin 3 pi x by a e 3 is equal to 9 pi square h square 2 m square so psi and x are alternatively even and odd with respect to the center of the wave and they are mutually orthogonal. So integral psi m star x and psi n x dx is equal to 0.